Okay, we're going to do a, an input shaping video today. Um, so there's a macro in here called Input Shaper Calibrate. Um, and basically that'll start the, um, the input shaping calibration itself. Got a home first, so home all. So it only takes a few minutes. And now we should be able to do it. Okay, we're almost done. There we go, 133. Uh, they don't normally go over 133 because um, they, from what I've been reading, they don't really um, get much benefit out of monitoring anything above that. So, so we're just going to let it do its thing. Hopefully, it should write a file, a couple of files. So it saved a couple of files to temp calibration data.csv so we'll save config. And then we'll jump into our SSH. And go into temp files. So we need to change the names of these um, from calibration data to resonances. So, um, so I've got a little file over here, which basically I've, I've got saved, saved in my printer, printer.config file. So I'm just going to copy this. And there's a script that I need to run as well, but I need to change these file names. So I'm just going to rename rename and just everything up to those numbers there and paste resonance.x and then the same with the y Oops. rename this Resonances. Then we need to grab the script, which is why I keep it in my printer file because you don't use it all the time. So there's this, this one here. So copy that, Control C, and then I use a center mouse click for this. So this will convert it into a um, into a the graph so it's loading all the data and all that sort of stuff while it's doing that I'll grab the next one to copy control C so this is giving us all the um, 
all the bits and pieces and then it will create a file okay and for Y oh great resonances dot Y is not found <laughs> awesome That's because we haven't changed it. So we need to go res resonances underscore y underscore. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, we'll try and copy it again. This is not my day. Control C. Oh man, what's going on here? Just doesn't like copying anything today. will create the, a picture of the a PNG file for the um, for the Y axis and then we can have a look at the files so now that's completed all we need to do now is go in and thank you um, and get into your file system so log into your SSH and go into the temp folder so you've got to go back a few folders until you find the temp folder and then in the temp folder you'll see these two um, PNG files so we're just going to copy those and right click and download that and get on the forums and figure it out and like I will be so anyway that's that's it done and dusted 
and thanks for tuning in. We'll see you over now. Please like and subscribe.